the future is no longer a matter of decades or centuries, but due to the advancements in technology, the future is here and now. Well, friends, these are the golden words of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, who inaugurated the seventh edition of India Mobile Congress, which is happening from the 27th to 29th of October in Prakriti Medan, New Delhi. I'm your host, Raghav Khosla, and today we are covering the biggest technology festival in Asia, which is called the India Mobile Congress. Well, friends, at this India Mobile Congress, we have a plethora of conferences, we have a plethora of networking opportunities, some great brands are participating here because the future of 5G, 6G, AI and more technology is going to be showcased in a matter of three days over here. We are now going to go inside the halls, speak to the various exhibitors and show you the glimpses of this iconic event. Come with me. So friends, as we are discovering the latest innovations at the India Mobile Congress, we are with the organizer of this event, Mr. P. Ramakrishna. Thank you, sir, for giving us time and Thank huge you, congratulations for this Thank wonderful so edition. Please tell us the major highlights of this edition of IMC. One, we are very proud of uh, hosting this again, this event successfully. We have seen so many events now in the range. But the way it has come out this year is pretty exciting for all of us. You can hear it in Prime Minister's voice also that this has let's set us for a different path or transaction right now. I hope it will grow. So the key highlight has been, of course, there are a couple of things. Uh, one is the technology showcase after 5G launch last year. They have been uh, monetization of 5G is important. So we see a lot of technology showcase or use cases, how we monetize the 5G services so that its whole exciting 5G involvement proceeds hereafter. The second part is the startups. We have seen so many startups. Uh, it so happened that startups are mostly on tech environment. We want to scale it up in the telecom ecosystem. So we have about 400 startups, more with our industry and we see uh, these startups will get a fruitful. They are having interactions with investors, mentors, angel uh, tools. Uh, there's other exciting elements we have added for startups. We have about 150 investors are participating in looking at the startups, how they, how they can work along with them. Uh, of other key factor is the, uh, um, the component of Indian component of how we grow the innovation. So we are looking at we build that environment of innovation into our embed into our system. We have more as services companies as it is in India, but innovation is one thing which is to be embedded into ourselves so that we scale into the global level of manufacturing the components, design, research. That's the environment we want to create and culture through IMC. Could you also highlight some of the key topics which we, have, which we are going to discuss in the two conference uh, days that we are going to have here? What will be the key topic touch points? Of course, we have a lot of telecom topics by such as Open RAN, AI, uh, we have network automation. So, there is one, but some topics are more on the general digital inclusion and how the company's DPIs could be adopted in various other globally. Other thing is we are doing one session, one whole day, three day session with ITU um, on the sustainable angle on the SDG components within the environment. There is also a 6G standard research, which is going uh, topic for two days where we have international speakers coming in from various country. Very good element I forgot to tell you is we had 48 countries participation in this year IMC. That's amazing because 48 countries and you know all, all the flags you see outside yes. actually represent the real participation in, in the IMC. Achievement. And what's the kind of exhibitor count that we have here? We, what are the major brands? We have uh, 230, actually we have 249 exhibitors and we have 400 startups. So that's the count. Uh, the component you see our operators are there, a lot of telecom, new uh, systems are there. There's conversational AI products. There are system integrators. There's a lot of chipset company out here, and uh, there are space. You you see the fun elements of uh, robotics, the drones, the uh, EV components with technology. 
there's a, there's a very broader mixture of subject rather than really telecom. It's all about technology now, which we want to drive. It's all about technology, and as the honourable prime minister has said, with rapid advancements in technology, what could have been achieved in decades now, the future is well here and now with us within our very domain. Uh, Ramakrishna ji, we would also like to understand from you, uh, what are your upcoming plans? Because this show is growing year on year. I think uh, from where it has started now, it has reached a great mammoth scale. Uh, what are your upcoming plans? See, uh, we have to maintain. I think I still we have to produce some quality components add into this show. We will try to do bring in those. Uh, also, it should be a global destination. We are made, 48 countries are there. But I think we are targeting for much more than 48 countries. I think that's the message we want to send out. It's a default event on the telecom calendar. After MWC, we are just hearing back that people are back from MWC, North America and Las Vegas. They're feeling this is much better than that. Okay. So that's the takeaway for us. Final question. Uh, what is your message to the industry at large for the remaining two days? So we are seeing a brighter topics coming up for next two days. Let's see, enjoy. We have a lot of uh, interesting subjects in the startups. I think let's us give a helping hand to most of the startup. Understand they were technical. It doesn't mean investment, but let's understand. See if we could pick up some to mentor, guide them. At least if you have the capability and interesting, of course, investment is the next. Thank you for uh, giving us time. Wish you all the best. Thank you, Raghav. My name Thank is so Randeep Singh Seko. I'm CTO for Bharat Theatre. Petal is partnering with the uh, government of India in the Digital India, uh, you can say, in initiative, attribute for the same. We start with the uh, connectivity. We are bringing the next-gen connectivity through fiber, through 5G, through satellite. Then we are making sure that we have platforms where this Digital India can ride. We have Airtel IQ, we have Airtel Works and platforms for IoT. Then we make sure that we have data centers where all these connectivities can land. We have data centers across all. And we are also, like the Prime Minister was saying, making sure that it is a safe, secure connectivity to India. I think it is a wonderful platform because uh, we get to showcase ourselves, uh, not just to the Indians, uh, but also to the world. And also we get a uh, lot of Indians who do not get to see what India is capable of today because they are using technology, but they are not seeing they can come here and also experience first-hand uh, what this technology is all about. Okay, so, I am Neha Trivedi and I am product head over here in Cyrotech Networks. Uh, let me start by introducing Cyrotech Networks. We are a 28-year-old organization and we call ourselves, we proudly call ourselves a Make in India organization whereby we are manufacturing hardware products which are made, majorly deployed in the 5G segments. For example, we are manufacturing SFPs if you see. Uh, if I talk about SFPs, also called as optical transceivers, these are components which are usually deployed into switches and routers and they are the termination point for any fiber. Apart from that, uh, we also uh, we are also in the FTT edge segment whereby we are uh, manufacturing again ONTs, OLTs deployed in any service provider or a telecom sector. Then we are also into the surveillance segment, we are manufacturing CCTV cameras, home barriers. So we have this wide portfolio of products. Uh, we've been doing uh, IMC since like what three years now. I was even, we were even there at the time of the launch of 5G. Uh, when you talk about this being a platform for global reach, yes, because a we have delegates from all over the world over here. We we had that uh, opportunity to uh, you know be in a position in a place whereby people from other countries are here. So yes, it gives us the chance to reach out to those countries through our production. Yeah, hi. My name is Jitesh Kumar Pasa. I'm the founder of ARVR Innovations Private Limited. So we are working on augmented reality experience for cultural heritage sites. So our product is uh, uh, putting augmented reality into the cultural heritage site. Like we are doing it now for Konark Temple. And with this augmented reality experience, you can see the models, this culture, the 3D models, such as the paintings, which are with eroded. So with the eroded paintings, you can just put your uh, mobile camera at the particular point and you can see the contents the 3d models the recreated model as well as the text multilingual text will be there you can read them you can listen to them okay it will be a very uh, nice experience to see what have been eroded and what is not been existing with time we are recreating them and showing people how it actually working uh, yes we are representing we are with uh, the ministry of tourism so we are uh, having a hope that we can connect with ministry of tourism and having a big future to connect with a lot of tourist sites 
uh, for whom we can develop the augmented reality experience. Yeah. Welcome to RNM. So here we are showcasing our RNM solutions. So we are basically a passive manufacturing company for which manufacture the passive connectivity solutions like uh, fiber optic patch cords, LIUs, FMS, which is used for outside plant, uh, ins inside the building and in the FTTH network environment. So as you can see, these are our products. Basically, uh, outdoor cabinets, IP55 rated cabinets, FTTH pre-assemblies. Also, we are the largest manufacturer in India. And uh, for FMS also, we can do around uh, three to four thousand FMS per day, and we have a largest manufacturing facility in fiber optic patch cords, like around uh, uh, thirty uh, k termination per day, and we have uh, even in uh, joint closures we can do up to fifty k uh, joint closures uh, per month. So this is all about RNM. IMC provides a very good platform to share the knowledge for all the I mean all the expertise all across uh, country and world comes to IMC to showcase their product. So I think it is a very good platform and for RNM also uh, we can showcase all our technology and all our new development over here. So it is a very good platform for us. My name is Parikshit. Uh, I take care of the sales part in Inspark. Inspark it's a make, complete Make in India 100% Make in India company. We, we started around 2019. We came out uh, with a problem solution of uh, finding out some of the visible cyber security solutions which have a holistic visibility for a entire national scale vision and things so that is how we that is the problem statement which we took out and we built this product for a way back we started with a small uh, team of seven members and now we are scaling up to a hundred plus team of things uh, gives a lot of exposure to each and every person it enriches the knowledge of us it helps us to cross sell ourselves. It helps us to mind share between the teams. And NCU is one of the key incubation centers for us, which help all the startups which are across, across India to establish their reputation into the system. And this type of things helps in building the ecosystem where to understand about various technologies which are happening across the world. Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, this is Sandeep Kumar, a senior engineer in the research and development team and the training. So I am in CP Plus since 2019. So basically we are here about the CCTV solution which is based on IoT and smart Wi-Fi configuration. We have a complete product range which will work on Wi-Fi, 5G SIM, 4G SIM as well in which we have a cameras for indoor, outdoor which comes with different different AI features which is motion detection, motion tracking, two beta communication and remote monitoring as well so that we can also access our camera from a remote location with the help of a mobile phone application and we can do so many things like if we want to talk uh, to someone else or in a home we want to give some instructions so we can follow all of them right so basically sabse pehle to main thank you bolna chahunga organization ke liye jitne ne hamare sare aap events ko organize karaya hai bahut sari technologies aayi hai jiske bare mein hum seekh rahe hain and our motto is to secure the nation okay jab bhi hum baat karte hain cctv ki we are reon brand in this industry CP plus as a CP plus तो हमारा ये कि जितने भी लोग हैं जो सी सी टी वी में है या जिनकी जरूरत होती है सिक्योरिटी की वो इन सब चीज़ों के बारे में अवेयर हो सीखें एंड देन डेफिनेटली वी विल लुकिंग फॉर वर्ड माई सेल्फ अमित रॉय एंड आई एम फ्रॉम की साइड टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम द मार्क मैनेजर फॉर की साइड टेक्नोलॉजी इंडिया सो की साइड टेक्नोलॉजी इज यू एस बेस्ड कंपनी वी हैव इन टू लाइक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेगमेंट लाइक एरो स्पेस डिफेंस वायरलेस वायरलाइन हाई स्पीड डिजिटल ऑटोमोटिव एंड की साइड टेक्नोलॉजी इज़ लाइक हेडक्वार्टर इन यू एस Uh, based company and uh, California, we have uh, Kisai Technologies, the 4.9 billion of the company. This one, we in uh, we are located in India, Bangalore, Hyderabad, New Delhi, Mumbai, and Kolkata, and we are into like tier two cities also with, through our channel partner. Yeah, so because yeah, you know like here the all the uh, major players participating in this show, so we'll have all kinds of like we can get into interacted with all the type of customer. and like you can like if you have any interest product you can get into that you can capture those details here so that is the reason we see we can grow and christian toivon of telecom infra project um, coming from london united kingdom uh, i actually came here for many reasons one of them is i was speaking on a panel about open ran which obviously is very exciting and it's at the heart of what telecom infra project is working on but secondly to be able to meet indian ecosystem participants meaning large and small companies that are developing products and services for the ran 
open run uh, environments. And I'm very surprised how many there are. A lot of them not known outside of India. So, yeah. 2023, I think it's a fantastic event, I would say. This is a you know good opportunity for all the telecom operators as well as the equipment manufacturers to come on board and showcase their capabilities. Okay, so this event is very interesting and you know uh, it caters to the target audience that everybody is looking for and which is very upcoming and has a huge potential for growth. And uh, we find that all the people who have exhibited over here are uh, very well, you know, uh, in terms of technology. So it's my, it's my first time here in, uh, at IMC. I have to say it's a uh, interesting event because very accessible. So you have like uh, all the major operators here uh, with a lot of technical staff, not only uh, the top management and, uh, and the sales people. So it's very, uh, very easy to connect.